welcome Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading for mid-April 2020. Please always keep in mind time is fluid so whenever you view this it could be a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you at all please try checking your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign especially when it comes to love. There are timestamps in the description box if you ever want to jump straight to the reading itself. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I do, cho do choose three free winners a month for free readings. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, comment on any current month's post in order to enter for that. Winners are chosen at random and they are announced the first of the following month. So March winners are going to be announced on April 1st. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, there is a link to my Etsy shop in the description box as well as a link to my website so that you can learn more about the different types of readings that I offer. All right, Taurus, I'm going to read your energy here, your person's energy here. It is general, so it can be flipped or reversed. All right, starting here, we have the tower. So Scorpionic energy. You could be on with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. Or somebody here could go through a very painful ending. Something very um, unsettling, something very shocking, something very unexpected. Um, you really did not see this coming. Or... Um, it was something that even if you braced for it, like the aftermath, it was something that you really couldn't foresee, right? It's like just shocking news. Lightning just struck. It was just like, bam, there it was. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy. It's like you are trying to be very rational, very logical, very... um responsible you are working on yourself working on your home your stability your finances your success it's like you've been pouring everything it's like through, through the chaos you're using this as like a bridge or as fuel for your fire is what i want to say and it's causing you like all this pain that you went through and guys this is time's fluid this is a general so I mean, this could be a situation that was painful from five years ago or last week. Whatever that pertains to be for you, or you could be currently going through it, right? Or you might be going through it soon. It is whatever, it's like you're using this as like fuel to like push you to succeed. It's like you're just knowing your worth, knowing your value. You're not accepting less than, and you're just focusing on you. You're taking care of your home, your children, possibly if you have children, that kind of thing like you're just really focusing on you and your life your success your stability working hard right king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy now i do see three people here so for some of you it could be a third party situation it doesn't have to be um i'm going to try to read it both ways but just apply it how it resonates and if it doesn't then check your other placements but there's a person here that you're thinking about that is similar to you in a lot of ways. And this person, they, you know, air signs get a bad reputation. I say this all the time about appearing cold or not having hearts or, you know, being detached. And that's not it. They're just very rational, very logical. They try to put their emotions aside and see things, um, in a full perspective, they try not to follow their heart too much. They try to listen to their their head, right? They think they try to think, right? They don't feel their way through a situation. They think through it. <laughs> Sometimes they overthink a little bit too much. This person, they do have feelings, but they don't show them. They come off very cold. Sometimes they can be a little sharp with their tongue or with their words. This person, you know, they are very, very action oriented this kind of person this person knows what they want they go after it they they take it they don't sit back and wait for it to come to them when this person truly wants something they're going to go for it um but this person they're very hard to read you find them very mysterious now for those of you who could be dealing with their party situation we also have the queen of cups here cancer scorpio pisces energy so you know for some of you there could be a situation here where you've got stability with one person and male, female doesn't matter. And then your heart's with another person. And now you're trying to get, you're in the middle of this. You're trying to get very logical. You're trying to get really rational here. You want to think this through. You don't want to make a bad move. You don't want to make a bad choice or decision. 
you're trying to listen to your head, but your heart is pulling you in another direction. There's another person, another place, or another something that you feel passionate about where you really want to be. That's where your heart is. And, you know, it's like nothing else is going to do. Nothing's going to fill that cup until you're with your person, that person who has your heart, right? Without that person, your cup is empty. It's like you just don't have what you need emotionally. For others of you, if this is not third party, how I can see this card is you're someone who is very loving, very compassionate, very nurturing, very intuitive, empathetic. You know, people come to you. People seek you out for advice. There's a nurturing, healing quality about you that people are just magnetically drawn into. They find that in you. The Queen of Cups is someone who's going to embrace you arms wide open and, you know, hold you and make you feel at ease, right? She's going to put you at ease. He or she doesn't really matter. And then we have the death card. So we have scorpionic energy yet again. So you definitely could have, you could have strong Scorpio in your chart or your person could have strong, strong Scorpio in their chart. But something has to give here. Something has ended or is ending. And maybe it's unexpected to you. Maybe this person literally stepped out and walked away from you unexpectedly. Or maybe this is a situation where you're having to go through a divorce or situation or your person is and it's very unexpected. No one was planning for this and it's like this choice had to be made. I'm literally seeing a catastrophic moment, three people and an end in here. So that's going to be different for every single one of you, okay? And if it's not a third party, guys, please keep this in mind. I want you to, to listen to me when I say this. A third party is not a physical person. It can be, but a third party is something that comes between you and your person, okay? Here's you and your person. Here's what comes between it. So this could be, this could be addiction. It could be codependency. It could be working too much. I mean, it could be sleeping too much. It could be lust addiction, a porn addiction. It can be another person, a very mother-in-law, a father, a boss, a co-worker, a friend, your dog, distance, whatever that pertains to be for you. It's something that comes between the connection and that can be a physical person for some of you. You know, it can be listening to other people who butt their nose into the relationship. That can be a big thing for a lot of people. But there is something coming between this. And it's very shocking. It's very unsettling. And I do get a lot of third party karmic energy from this. So for some of you, I feel like probably a good portion of you, this will resonate as another person with you or with your person. Now, I'm uncertain about that. Now, you both could have somebody else. But I do get the feeling that there's somebody here. Now, I do have a man here with two women. So it could be that, you know. But it could be vice versa as well. Somebody here is having to make a choice. Somebody's making a choice in love. I feel mostly for some of you, others of you, it's something interfering, right? Now, in your person's energy here, we have the Queen of Swords. So, you, true, you two are a true soul pair. Okay. More air energy. We have the King and Queen here. You match each other. You mirror each other. You're very similar in so many ways. And this person's seeing a lot of those similar qualities they see in themselves in you. And they also find that you're very hard to read because you also know your worth, you know your value. Now, I do feel like for those of you who are in a third party, their heart is with you and their stability is with someone else. And the issue here is that you're not going to take anybody's crap. And they see that about you. And they admire that about you because they feel the same way. It's like they're not going to allow someone to manipulate or control them or string them along either. And it's like they, it's almost comical to them how similar the two of you can be. Now with the Seven of Swords here, someone's keeping this up quiet. Okay. Now, now I do want to say this. It does not matter if this is third party or not. If there's a physical person involved. For some reason... This is, this is a secret relationship. Nobody really knows about this. And I do feel like a lot of you are keeping your hidden your hidden feelings to yourselves. And like no one's speaking their truth here. No one's talking about, no one's opening their heart to each other. You know, you're both staying very quiet. And I feel like if this person's watching you, they're, they're stalking you online, on social media. They're trying to get information about you. They're trying not to like your posts on accident. They're trying not to comment, you know. They're trying to be very careful, you know. If they're creeping up on your page or on your social media or asking friends and family, 
They're trying not to leave a trail behind because they don't want you to know about it. Yeah, and I feel like this is a secret. I feel like for some reason, now I don't know if you work with this person. I don't know if you, if this is your boss maybe, or if this person's like way older than you, or you're older than them, or this is like your best friend's ex, or your brother's best friend from college, and like whatever the case, like you don't want anybody to know about this. Like it, it needs to stay very quiet. You don't need any attention from anyone else in this in regards to this connection. But I also feel that this person watches you and tries to get away with it. They try not to leave any breadcrumbs behind. Like if they're on your page and they accidentally hit like, they're like they're literally freaking out. Like oh oh my god, what if she, what if they get notified about this? They're freaking out, right? Knight of Swords. I think you're going to get some very unexpected communication from this person. This person's right in here. They're charging in here to get really clear with you and have a very serious discussion with you. This person wants to tell you that they're walking away from something. <clears throat> or maybe you're doing that for them. Okay, it can be vice versa. But I feel more so this is that person and they're wanting to tell you they're trying to walk away from something. They're detaching from something. But you see that violin's in her hand as well. So it's, it is sad. Okay, she doesn't look happy. She's not running down that cliff. She's not excited. She's not jumping for joy to be leaving this behind. So for those of you, you know, where this is third party and I really do feel like this is, whether it's a person or something else that they're detaching from, it doesn't matter if they're in love with that person or if there's strong emotions there. They're leaving behind eight cups. Now they are looking for their ninth and tenth cup. They're looking to be fulfilled, completely fulfilled because they're not happy where they are. But they're still walking away from time, energy, and emotion they've invested into something else. So let's say they, they've lived in this country their whole life, okay? They're locking away from that, and it's sad. It's hard to walk away. Let's say they've had this job for 15 years, and they love their job, but they're leaving it to be closer to you. It's painful. Let's say they've been with their karmic partner for 9, 10 years, okay? Eight, let's say 8 years. So they've been with their partner for 8 years. That's still hard to just pick up, pack up, and walk away. Even if they're not in love, even if the intimacy is gone, there are still memories associated with it. Maybe they built a family together. Maybe they have a home and a life together. Maybe they have friends and family. Maybe they really like their father-in-law. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, even if they're walking away, it's still painful for them. They're choosing to do that though, even though it is going to break their heart in a lot of ways, because that's not where their heart truly is, because their heart is truly invested in their connection with you. And they had to do this. It was destiny. It was fate. They were supposed to go through these karmic lessons and obstacles to transcend that, to progress, to ascend for union with you, to be with you. They had to go through these challenging obstacles. They had to learn life lessons. They had to do this. It's a matter of destiny. It's divine timing. It's fate, right? You are the beacon that is guiding them home, that is guiding them to you. It's like this person definitely could be physically traveling to see you, they have a question for you. I do feel like for a lot of you, there is some kind of triangle involved here. There is some type of, you know, third interference into this connection that's separated two of you that has caused blocks. But this person wants to ask you a question. I think what this person is in here, right in here to do is this, is saying, now listen, I don't want to walk away from my situation because I have invested so much time into it. But if I do this, would you want the same thing. Would you want a relationship with me? Do you feel the same way? They want to get really clear with you. They may tell you there's a lot of problems when it comes to money. You know, I maybe they don't have it. Maybe they're going to lose it in the divorce. Maybe they're going to lose it when they walk away from their job. You know, maybe they're trying to cover their ass. <laughs> Sorry. But you know, it's like maybe they're afraid of the fallout, of the rain, of the unexpected. But I do feel like this person, they're going to be communicating to you. They're going to send you a message, maybe a text message, an email. And I think that they're going to be telling you what they want. And I think it's because they've had a realization here. They want to take a risk on this. They don't want to give this up. They see the possibilities in this and they want a new beginning with you. They want to make this happen. They don't want to give up on this. We have surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eye trained on yourself. Focus on your own strength. Attractiveness and power. Maybe this person's been very insecure in the past. Maybe they've been afraid to make a move because they felt like they weren't enough for you. They wouldn't be able to give you what you deserve. We have surrender to no action. Now is the time to be 
Now is the time to be still and not act. Um, simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So you don't need to be the one reaching out to this person. This person is going to be doing that to you. Allow this person to take control of this. Now for these messages here, we have palm tree, which is stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. This this relationship has standed the test the da, 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 has standed the test of time. It's not going anywhere. You this is not there's nothing that's going to separate the two of you. This relationship is too strong. You've built a firm foundation together. We have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. This person wants to meet up with you. They may be telling you this. They want to meet up with you and ask you a question and find out where you are in this and how you feel about this. If you feel like they do. We have hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic. Options not showing hand in gambling. This person wants to take a risk on you. They want to take a leap of faith. They really haven't told you how they're feeling or what they're wanting for the future. But they're going to be getting clear with you. And we have the runner. So runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Maybe they've ran a lot in the past because they've listened to their ego. Maybe they were afraid of intimacy. Maybe they're a very codependent person. Maybe they're codependently financially set on someone else. Like, you know, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe they're trying, maybe they've had a lot of, maybe money is a big factor in this. They've been financially dependent on someone else or they have financial ties to someone they're afraid of ending that situation but we do have coffin under here so endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transitions we have temperance sagittarian energy wanted to heal the situation but it's a matter of patience this person's transcending some obstacles right this person's been very in their head about you they can't seem to clear you from their mind they're constantly thinking about you being reminded of you they're up at night they're they have a lot of anxiety. They want this new beginning. They're constantly, constantly thinking about this new beginning with you. They can't sleep at night. They can't eat kind of love. Over the moon kind of love is what I want to say. And we have the sun card here, Leo energy. So you make them happy. There is warmth and abundance in this connection. There's growth and potential. And this person is awakening to this. They're awakening to the truth of this connection. And now they're wanting to take a risk, you know. Maybe they've been single for too long, okay. Or maybe this person is trying to work on their finances and their stability. They're trying to work really hard right now so that they can prepare themselves for union with you. They definitely could be a boss or a father figure, a husband, an entrepreneur. Could be a feminine energy as well. Just take it that how it resonates. But this person is trying to take control of their life to make this happen with you. Just as they definitely could be going through a divorce. Okay, I do have two cards here that definitely can be a divorce for some of you guys. Six of Pentacles trying to hold on to their money while they go through this transition and phase of their life so they can manifest Virgo Gemini energy, this new beginning with you to make this happen. All right, you guys, I feel like this was a really intense reading and it very well could be very specific. Uh, but please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you did like this reading. And I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.